Hello, I'm Monica. In this lesson, you will learn how to create an annual summary of customers, grouped alphabetically by state and city, with a total sum for each group. First, create a new report called Annual Billing Summary. In the dataset, type the query to obtain a list of customers with the number of invoices and the billed amount for this year. Our goal is to show a summary for the current year, but since the invoices in this example application go up to 2024, we'll configure the report to display only those from 2024. Test the query to ensure it's working correctly. Perfect. In the outline panel, Right-click on the report and create a group. Name it State and also select State. The name doesn't necessarily have to match what you select. Do the same for City. When we create the groups, headers and footers are automatically added for each one. Drag the fields into the report. In the headers, no calculations are needed, so leave them as they are. Drag total amount to the footer of the city group and select sum. There are other calculations available, but we'll not use them. This will sum up the total amount in each city group. Do the same for state. Organize the report a bit and test it. The groups are displayed correctly, and the totals are accurate. Here, it seems the page ends, cutting off some displayed data. We can make the group information appear together. In the state group header, check keep together. This ensures that if the state group to be displayed doesn't fit within the remaining space on the page, it will move to the next page. Of course, if the group is too large, it will still have to break across pages. Now the state group won't split, but the city group information might still split. We can fix this the same way. If we look at the total amount summary, it is a variable element. We can create a variable as follows. Right-click on Variable and create a new one. Name it Number of Customers. This will be an integer. In Calculation, select Count. And in the expression, add the name field. Finally, in Reset Type, select State. This variable will count the number of name entries in each state group. We finish organizing the report and test it again. For this occasion, I made some changes to the database, adding and modifying customers and invoices. Copy the report to the project. In the controller's XML file, go to the customer controller and define an action called print annual summary for list mode. Then, in the actions package, we create the action print annual summary action. Extend from Jasper report base action. Keep the data source and parameters as null, only setting the report name. That's it. Launch the application.
Perfect. We've successfully visualized all the customers we had in 2024, their invoices, and most importantly, grouped by state and city. If you have any questions or issues, you can ask us on the forum. You can also download the code for this lesson from the repository link. Both links are in the video description. Bye.